Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be for Virgo. I hope you're doing well. So for Virgo, Mercury rules over the house of Virgo. Mer Mercury is here in Aquarius, aligned with Pluto and Venus. So there's some very intense, passionate conversations going on about um, structural change. Could be changes in the workplace. Um, there's a lot of communication happening with people, networking, and that could also be in the, with the people around you. Sun's in Aquarius and the moon is in Cancer. We have a full moon in Leo on Thursday. So the moon in Cancer is very vulnerable. Most people could start to feel very emotional. They could feel vulnerable, fearful even sometimes. Um, but Mercury, 24 degrees. Malcolm here, aligned with Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto is the planet that rules over Scorpio. It's about major transformations and change. Like it will change. It won't be the same as it was. It will be new going forward. Now, things have to change to have something be better. So people are communicating and talking about these changes right now. Um, Mercury is fast communication too. So... There could be a lot of fast changes happening. So let's see what the energies are coming in for Virgo. I call on the angels and the spirits of the white light. What are the messages here for Virgo? What do they need to see or acknowledge? Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Bottom of the deck is five of wands. Very competitive. Fire sign energy. Has to do with ambition, power. Um, everybody wants, wants a piece of the pie. It's a lack of cohesion, a lack of team. What's coming in here? So we have a queen of air. Justice is being served. Libra energy. Justice. Um, cut, maybe cutting someone out who you... It could be setting someone straight. Crossing is... It could also be justice being served here. We have a nine of cups. A wish being coming true. A wish that is fulfilled. And this energy is about something that is affecting the way you will feel. So we have here the energy of Taurus with the Hierophant. It could be the government, a bank, an institution. It could be a decision that you've been waiting for from Someone who has the authority to make or grant a decision. This person has the keys here, so they have the answers. This brings in a victory for you. This brings in public recognition, a victory, fire energy of winning, a feeling of winning. Okay, let's see. What is in the past? Past energy. Wow. So we have here an Aries. We have here the Emperor. I feel like this is going here again. Emperor is a is somebody who's in charge, powerful leader, someone who has the utmost power. So this could be like a change in leadership. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. This is about mercy. It's about the big decisions being made where you follow rules. Um, somebody over here was winning. There was a lot of hero feeling. We have a tower. Okay, so what do we have here for Virgo? Queen of Wands, more Aries energy. And what is in the environment? Justice being served. I kind of was feeling that. Like, it's going to be a decision. It's going to be something fair.
Okay, so you fear the moon. You're afraid of the unknown or it's just you have a fear of deception or something that is being hidden from you. So you just sort of retreat with your energy. You just decide to withdraw. What is the, the tower here? Why are we getting a tower? The Knight of Cups. So there's some kind of good news, an offer, a message of love, water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person comes in. It's an unexpected good news. It's coming in on the white horse, like the knight in shining armor. So what is this Knight of Cups? Wow, look at this, a Ten of Cups. I'm getting this for almost every sign. And the world, a completed cycle, a great success is here. So the world is about achieving goals where you have worked really hard for something and you've earned this. So unexpectedly, you have this great achievement. Um, what is the Four of Swords? Okay, something that's been in limbo, hangman. What's the outcome? A king of cups, a water sign, a Pisces Cancer, or a Scorpio. Somebody who is being very caring and kind. It's the energy of Scorpio. We have a king of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, two masculine forces. And a Six of Cups. We have here friendship, harmony. People are discussing something. Justice is being served in the environment. Okay. There could be a lot of very confusing, dramatic things happening around this situation. That could be why you're withdrawing. What is the... Queen of Wands. Why is this here for Virgo? So you just want to maintain a stable, happy home. You've achieved st like a stable situation. This could also be a marriage partner that you meet. It could be an Aries. It could be a Taurus. What is this Aries energy here? What is the Emperor? What is the Emperor? Wow. So it's like somebody who maybe... Here recently, you felt left out in the cold. You maybe felt abandoned. We have this Two of Cups coming in. Okay. So, Twin Flame, King of Wands, could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. It's a partnership, a passionate couple. Bottom of the deck, Chariot, could be somebody returning to you. This could also be flipped where you're leaving, but I don't see why you'd be leaving if there's 10 of cups. Okay, so this is like a soulmate returns. What is this here for Virgo? New beginnings, master number 44. So I'm sending you white light, positivity, all good feelings and blessings for this new beginning, whatever it is for you. So thanks for watching and take care.